Let's go. We certainly want transparency. What he saw is what we revealed to you last night on this program, what appears to be Atlanta, Georgia ballot counters being told to leave the counting room, then a short time later with no observers, with no media, hidden cases of possible ballots are rolled out from under a table. Four people under a cloud of suspicion begin what looks an awful lot like ballot stuffing. And the media did pack up and leave at 11.15, but there weren't observers there um, at that time, and there was no announcement made for anyone to leave. Now, wait a second here. That is disheveled Fulton County Elections Chief Richard Barron, but he doesn't have the facts right. The video proves it. At 10.40 p.m., not 11.15, 10.40, the media is packing up a half hour before he thinks they leave. You can see them putting on their jackets there. And by 10.56, they are long gone. And the Trump team has sworn witness testimony, claiming an announcement was most certainly made. In fact, even CNN reported the counting was being shut down due to a water main break that even election administrators now acknowledge was a leaky toilet. So someone had to tell those people to leave. And if you look at this table, there are ballots in boxes open and ready for counting. Now watch as they get packed up. Why would you need to secure them and then ultimately take out the mysterious ballots from under the table to start counting? It just doesn't add up. Elections board member Dr. Kathleen Ruth shows her skepticism in that Zoom call this morning with the elections chief. It is interesting that these ballots were under a table versus being in the open. Well, I think there, there there's this, I, I don't know that there, I think those, those ballot boxes get heavy. I don't think they want to be lifting those things up and putting them back down. It makes no sense. The guy's scratching his head. He just looks nervous. The guy does not inspire confidence. There were already ballots out, but even almost 24 hours since I posted what could be, quote, smoking gun video of election fraud, a video now with 2.5 million views as of right now on my Twitter feed, the head of elections whose ballot counters are now being accused of ballot stuffing declares this. I'll have to review. I, I need to review the video. I have not seen the video. Please do. Please do is right. He hasn't watched the video that could upend the presidential election. And the guy in charge of the very people in the room admits he didn't watch the video before updating board members this morning. That's insanity. And yet Fulton County still certified the election. But you know who did watch our video? Our viewers, Stinchfield's Army. One directed me to this moment in the video. The woman in purple, after putting ballots in to be scanned, it appears to take the same batch of ballots out, straighten them, and then look what she does with them. She reinserts them back into the ballot counting machine again. The same set of ballots. Now, there may or may not be an explanation for this, but it certainly needs to be investigated by law enforcement, as the greatest political heist in election history may have just been caught on camera. Evidence of election fraud mounts as the mainstream media and Democrats loudly insist Joe Biden is still the 2020 winner. However, numerous whistleblowers are coming forward with credible information that hundreds of thousands of votes for President Trump mysteriously disappeared on election night. On Tuesday, Jesse Morgan, a worker for the U.S. Postal Service, revealed that his trailer full of ballots simply went missing after he dropped them off. The worker drove his truck from Bethpage, New York, all the way to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and says he was carrying some 288,000 completed mail-in ballots. Phil Klein, the director of the legal group 
Thomas More Society Amistad Project says they have many more testimonies from whistleblowers with similar stories. The project is working to discover flaws and even expose cases of voting fraud in the 2020 election and has already uncovered serious examples of voting irregularities. Backing up President Trump's warnings, Klein explains that the post office was rife with fraud and that many postal service workers were taking part in widespread illegal efforts to undermine the election. While the missing truck full of ballots is bad enough, other whistleblowers say they drove thousands of pre-filled ballots right over state lines, which is a federal crime. A subcontractor for the post office, Nathan Pease, said that he was told by two separate postal workers that the post office in Wisconsin had collected and backdated over 100,000 ballots on the morning after the election. Unsurprisingly, others also claimed the integrity of Dominion voting machines has been compromised and cannot be trusted. During a press conference in Arlington, Virginia on Tuesday, the project explained that election officials in blue jurisdictions have failed to maintain the ballot chain of custody, which leaves the door wide open for voting fraud. The project said it has photographic evidence of people improperly accessing voting machines and eyewitness accounts on how the seals on ballot hard drives were illegally tampered with and broken. Klein says that in total, there are over 300,000 fraudulent ballots in Arizona, 548,000 in Michigan, 204,000 in Georgia, and 121,000 in Pennsylvania. Based on this evidence, the FBI has reportedly requested to look at the project's data on voting integrity and potential election fraud. Pearson Sharp, One America News. So, if you just take the crime of what those Democrat workers were doing, and by the way, there was no water main break. You know, they said there, there was no water main break. That's 10 times more than I need to win this state. 10 times more.